up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're reviewing Cult of Chucky. This one came out in 2017 and was directed by Don Mancini and stars Brad Dorf and Fiona Dorf. Now before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify for a video. Let's just start it. Let's start talking about the good. So Chucky played by Brad Dorf, uh, Andy Barclays played by Alex Vincent once again, uh, Nika is played by Fiona Dorf, and Tiffany is played by Jennifer Tilly, and they're all great in the film. Um, Andy Barclays played by Alex Vincent is... He's awesome in the film. Uh, Acting-wise, he's he's all right. He's okay. Um, Doctor Foley, who played by who was played by Michael uh, Theriot, he was okay in the film. He wasn't a great character. Um, he was just a normal bad character in the film. Um, the opening sequence I thought it was good. Uh, it was good opening sequence. Uh, it was entertaining, and I think it fit the film. Uh, there is a good recap of the previous films during the opening credits of the film, and it helps to catch up. Um, if you haven't seen the other films in a while, because this is a direct sequel to Curse of Chucky, um, and I think it works. And there is a sequence um, that ties to a lot of the other films. Um, the cinematography, which of course includes shots, cameras, and lighting, it's it's good. It's okay. Um, it looks like a straight to DVD film, but it's it looks fine. There's no shaky camera, so I thought it was fine, um, especially for a straight to DVD film. This is a straight to DVD film. So the cinematography was good. It re it resembles uh, Curse of Chucky and the way it was shot um, because it does look like a straight to DVD film, but it's, it looks like it could have been shown to theaters. Um, the first and second acts of the film are good. You know, I thought they were good. Uh, they weren't bad. Um, I didn't find them extremely entertaining. They're just fine. Uh, the score from Joseph DeLuca is creepy. It is a very creepy score and it fits the tone of Chucky. Um, there are some good um, jump scares in the film, especially with Chucky, um, and I think they were crafted fine. Uh, there are many creepy and terrifying sequences in this film. Of course, this is a Chucky film, so they're going to be creepy sequences, and I found myself um, watching these creepy sequences and being, um, it was, it was really, it was really weird how they did it because it is graphic. This is a graphic film especially for a straight-to-DVD film. Um, but the tense sequences are done in a way that's... Um, done in a way where you actually feel some tension in the film, so I thought it was fine. Um, there are some hilarious sequences in the film, mainly with multiple Chuckies, and yes, there are multiple Chuckies in this film. There's not only one, and they're all hilarious. They're all funny. Um, Brad Dorf does a great job as Chuckies, um, and they're very funny in the film. They appear in the mid-second act, the beginning of the third act of the film. Uh, so they're not in it for the whole film, but they're in it for sort of the end. Um, the third act of the film. Now, the third act of the film is fun. Uh, it's not a great third act. It's just a fun, entertaining third act. And the ending sequence, I thought it was it was all right. It was an okay ending sequence. Uh, fit what the film's going for. It's not one of the best ending sequences of a horror film, but it was fine. Uh, that's all the good that I have now. Let's move on to the bad. So all the actors and actresses in the film are mediocre, except Brad Dorf, uh, Alex Vincent's all right, uh, Fiona Dorf, and Jennifer Tilly. They are good in the film. The rest of them are not good at all. Um, some poorly filmed sequences are shown in this film. This film has many poorly filmed sequences that look weird, especially for a straight-to-DVD film. Um, it looks like Don Mancini didn't know how to craft some of the shots in the film because he was, looked like he was trying to do something new. There's one shot in the film with the glass breaking and falling onto this lady who's in the uh, medical chair. That sequence looked great for a straight to DVD film, but some of the sequences looked a little off. Um, some sequences in the film do not drive the plot at all. Like the previous film, there are some sequences that don't help the story at all. Um, there's no reason to include them, so I didn't think that it fit the film very well. If they would have cut them out, I think it would have flowed just a little better. Uh, that's about it. Cult of Chucky is an okay Chucky film and a mediocre horror film. Uh, it's somewhat entertaining, has some enjoyable sequences, but other than that, I recommend this just for a one-time watch if you're a diehard Chucky fan. So I'm going to give Cult of Chucky a C-. minus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and post notification bell so you can know if you're a video. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.